Good morning, Scott Cullen, Editor-in-Chief of the Kanata Report here. It's Friday morning. Time for Fridays with Frank. Before I bring out Frank, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And now, please welcome Frank Kanata. And Frank, how are you doing today? And what's on your mind? Well, I'm, I, this morning has been a bit, as I, as I think about it, it's been, been a little harried, shall we say. But now that it's done, I'm ready to do one of my favorite things, and that's talk to our friends on Fridays with Frank. Uh, you know, and uh, one of the things that I love is when I get a question. I really think a lot about it before we respond, and it gives me something to focus on. So maybe if our audience out there gets the message, please send us in questions that you would like us to explore. It makes it a lot, not only make it easier, but obviously we'll be relaying, relaying things to you that you really want to hear. Anyway, so with that, CJ and I are, had the pleasure of visiting with the distribution management last week and um, sitting down with uh, Sean Fleming, who's the CEO of the company. One of the things he said to me really resonated he said, Frank, he said, what's this business going to be like 10 years from now? Uh, it's a thought. I haven't given it much thought because, frankly, I don't think I'll be around. So <laughs> let's be realistic uh, at my age. But at any rate, it's a good question. I think fundamentally what has to happen is you look at the history of businesses in general. How and I'll use the old, the, the one that's been used for years, the old corner grocer. And how the corner grocer went away because of the supermarkets. Supermarkets brought in a whole different world. And along with the corner grocer went a myriad collection of other individual shopkeepers. Now, with that as a frame, I look at these distributors as becoming significantly more involved in terms of not just distributing the products, but with supporting the sale of those products. Manufacturers increasingly are looking at their costs like everybody else. And if the end result is that when it's done, they now have to make a huge investment in marketing in, in the key areas around the world, it's a huge cost. If they can go to a major distributor and say, here is the product, uh, this is what I think can be done with it in this marketplace, and would you like to be a partner? I think they're going to look at it, and they in turn will make an investment. Initially, you will need to have dealers of some kind. But those dealers, for the, in my opinion, will be more focused on commercial printing than anything else. Now, yes, there will be those that have really gravitated towards the IT side of the business. That's only going to get more inclusive and, and bigger and better as they move along because more and more the demands are so obviously there. Uh, and the people that have handled it well uh, clearly show that this has a long-term future. So you take the two, you take the production print and the IT side of the business, that's going to guarantee the future existence of dealers, but there'll be a different kind of dealer. The manufacturer relationship will be different. Uh, and I, I don't know any other way to put it. And when I say different, we recently had an opportunity to see uh, a very interesting product uh, tested by a local commercial printer. When I say local, in here in New Jersey, the manufacturer comes from Europe. And I asked the manufacturer flat out, are you going to come in and sell this product directly in the United States? He says, no way. I am a manufacturer. Now you have people who understand what products, and this is a very, very 
significant new product, uh, which uh, Konica Minolta has the rights of distribution to it. So there's a distribution side to it already. But I, if we're talking 10 years down the road, I don't know how that's going to work. Do we need uh, an intermediary, a manufacturer overseas coming to the US, dealing with an intermediary who then establishes the, the, the national distribution? That could be part of the plan in terms of including national distributors. But the point with all this, print is going to be here and also in a much broader way. I mean, we look at packaging today and because of being exposed to the technology, we, CJ and I often discuss, take a look at this package and the printing of the logo and the way it is. Uh, that's, that's essentially, you, you think in terms of two things that people have been talking about, labeling and packaging. Those are the two most significant areas of print. I fundamentally believe textile printing is right behind it, but that's still a long way away in terms of getting to the area where, um, where businesses could be somehow or other aligned uh, with a, a dealer type distribution. So if, we, if I'm gonna say, say to Sean, Sean, th this is the way it's gonna look like 10 years from now, you'll have the manufacturers all over the world developing these products. You will have dealers, very, very significant dealers in terms of size who are involved in labeling, packaging, printing of all kinds on all kinds of substrates. So I guess Sean is asking a question and a, and a good question. What's, you know, where, where is my organization going to fit in? Where's the distribution? The national, distri national, distribu national distributors are going to play. Distributors, excuse me. They're going to play an important role. I thought that uh, TD Cynix uh, did a great job of explaining how they are enhancing the relationship with the customer the dealers, by providing them a lot of support. And I think that's where it will all kind of come together. But in terms of selling into local areas or local markets around the country, you will still will need some type of sales organization. Dealers will be a big part of that. I can't see that ever, ever being done direct. I, I just impossible because the focus today is how do we reduce costs? And the best way you can reduce costs is deal with national distribution for a manufacturer. I guess to sum it all up, I think that's what it's going to look like 10 years from now. Now, hope that's the way it turns out. And you can say you heard it on Fridays with Frank. That's my story. 